Hello, and welcome to this updated video tip. In this tip I'll show you how we can use the Framework Manager tool to update the data model that is used by the Cognos-based Netcall Omnibus TCR reports as provided by IBM. Standard reports are a great starting point, but if you've done any work with them you may have noticed that the data model does not expose all of the base fields that are available within the reported database. So if you want to be able to report against those fields, or if you want to report against any custom fields you may have introduced, the data model needs to be modified. For the purpose of this tip, I'll extend the data model to incorporate the alert key field, which will be taken from the reporter status table. So here I have a Windows Server virtual machine, on which I've installed a DB2 client, along with the framework manager tool and the accompanying SSL fix. The reported database I'm accessing is actually held on another virtual machine. So in order for the framework manager to be able to access that database, it first needs to be uh, catalogued locally through DB2. Once that is done, you should be able to connect to the database and list the relevant tables. Here you can see all the standard reporter tables, including uh, reporter status, from which we'll be taking the alert key field. Before we can start using the framework manager, we have to firstly configure the Cognos environment. This is done using the Cognos configuration tool. Under the environment section, we need to update the gateway URI and dispatcher URI URLs so that they point to our TCR server. When you save the configuration, make sure you get green ticks for each item. Any errors received at this point usually indicate that either the wrong URLs have been entered or that the SSL fix has not been installed. With that done, we can now launch the Framework Manager. Along with the actual reports, the Omnibus Report Pack provided by IBM contains a project file which we can open with the Framework Manager. During the process of opening this project, we will be prompted to specify some user credentials which the Framework Manager uses to access the Cognos instance running within the TCR server. On the left-hand side, we have our project view. And under data sources, you can see a reference to the reporter database. And within our TIB reporting and analytics model namespace, you can see a number of different namespaces there uh, through which the data is sliced and diced. And then down at the bottom here, we've got our Netcall Omnibus package, which is what's uh, published into our TC environment. And if we just open up that package, we can see that it's just the presentation view namespace that is actually made visible through that package. All the other namespaces are actually hidden from our report authors. And this gives some indication as to where we need to add in our alert key. So if we have a look in the presentation view, we can see that the events query subject is actually just a link to the consolidation view. So if we navigate into that namespace, and open up the events query subject. You can see a list of all the query items that are made available. So you can see there we don't have an alert key currently. But if we edit the definition, we can see how each of these uh, query items is uh, selected, the majority of which are coming directly from our reporter status database. So now we add in a new query item, which we'll call alert key and then navigate into our database view and the reporter status query subject and select the alert key. Make sure we're consistent with the other query items. We'll use the trim function to remove uh, any white space. And then we can do a test of the expression just to make sure that we get back some data that we we're expecting to see. So yeah, that seems to work fine. The last thing we're going to do is just change the ordering slightly so that the alert key query item um, sits within a very logical space place. So our report authors should be able to find it quite quickly. With that done, the last thing to do is to uh, republish the package so that the modifications that we've made to the model are pushed into our TCR environment. So just walk through the wizard. Just yes to update the version. 
There we go, finished. So now we can go over into our TCR environment. If we go into the, uh, the net kilometer risk package, and we can launch Query Studio. And if we drill into our presentation view and into the events, we should now see an alert key query item that we can select and add to our reports. There we go, so our values are taken from the database.